I'm Jason Wesley with My Media Group, and we are here with Deja Knight with Live 5 News. Deja, have you had a good time tonight? Absolutely fabulous time. This is the first night this year that I got to go to Fashion Week, and it was amazing. Who was your favorite designer? You know, it was really hard to pick, but I think Angelina was my favorite designer. All of her clothes were just ready to wear, and they were perfect, and I just loved it. It was so amazing to see all of the models and all of the clothes. Oh, that's great. And are you really looking forward to tonight? I am. Of course, the after party is always the best part of the <laughs> night. So I'm very excited. I can't wait for it to get started. Now, she works for Live 5 News. She's normally interviewing people. She might want to interview me. Oh, but yeah, that's probably good. Okay, so you look fabulous. Who are you wearing? I don't really know. Okay, well, that's perfect because <laughs> it's vintage, obviously, right? Vintage, yes, exactly. I'm now, nervous did now. you get to go to any of the fashion shows tonight? Yes. This week? Oh, my gosh. As a matter of fact, last night, there. you know what? If I can say one thing about Fashion Week is that there are some very interesting people here. Interesting. Interesting. You look at half the pictures, go on YouTube, look at some of the pictures from Charleston Fashion Week. You've got some very interesting people. I love them all. Interesting and beautiful. Exactly. Were you walking down King Street earlier? Because it was all models. All models. All models. Yeah. Perfect. And, and, and I, I probably don't look that tall right now, but she's wearing seven and a half inch heels. Very tall heels. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and adjust that. Anyway, it's great to have you here tonight, Deja, and I look forward to seeing you later. Thank you so much. All right. Have fun tonight. All right, cool. Well, my name is Deja Knight, and we're here at the Charleston Fashion Week finale party reign, the ultimate encore, if you ask me, for fashion. Now, I'm here with Austin and Shane. Okay, so I know that you went to Fashion Week for a little bit this week. What did you think? Well, I thought that there was a lot of um, great, great talent. I saw Wednesday night's shows. The emerging designers were amazing, and I worked backstage with um, Michael Wernicke with his Mystery School show. And working on his collection, it was two years in a row, and it was, it was great. It was a great experience, and I loved every, every second of it. Yep. Great, and you guys both look dapper. Amazing. Of course. Now tell me a little bit about how you decide what you're going to wear for Fashion Week, obviously the most fashionable week in Charleston. Well, I actually work for a company that does suiting called Aster and Black. So if anyone's interested in that, I'm the South Carolina rep. And that's how I chose what I wore. I wore my company. Well, you look absolutely fabulous. Now, guys, tell me, what inspires you most about Charleston Fashion Week? And what makes you want to drag yourself out of bed and then come out? It's mostly the local designers. I love that there's such talent in our small city. I mean, people underestimate Charleston a lot. Because we, while we may be a large city, we're still so small. We're confined to this peninsula. And there's so much talent around us everywhere with photography, fashion, anything. And I love that Charleston Fashion Week gives all those people an opportunity to show their stuff, you know? like. And it is amazing. And it's amazing to yeah. see. Well, I'm going to let you guys get to rain because I know it's going to be so much fun tonight. We're going to toss it back to you guys. Charleston Fashion Week, where emerging designers launch. Live at Rain, the official after party for Charleston Fashion Week. We have Brooke Ryan with us. She used to work for 95SX and moved up to Washington, D.C. So, Brooke, uh, how long of a trip was it to come down here? Did you fly? Did you drive? Nine hours driving down, but I am flying back. So, I was lucky enough to come down with some pals. They had to leave on Sunday, but I'm staying till Wednesday. So. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And so, what was your favorite part of Fashion Week so far? Uh, I've only been to tonight's show because I got in late last night, but I would have to say the emerging designers are incredible. It always is my favorite part of Fashion Week. And Angela Sung, she was one of the emerging designers. Obviously, I'm here before the show's over, so I don't know if she won or not, but she deserves to win. I want to buy her collection as soon as, as, soon as I can. So Angela Sum was your favorite designer out of all the designers. So yes. whether she wins or not, whenever if she signs with anybody, you're going to be after her clothes. Oh, I've already tweeted. I was like, How, where do I get your clothes? I need the one sweater, the off-the-shoulder sweater, very my style, loved it. There were clothes that you could wear, but were still so incredibly fashion forward. I loved it. Well, that's good. Guys, Brooke Ryan here with us, and uh, you looking forward for, to tonight? Absolutely. I love how I come back to play a little bit, but then I end up getting suckered into work. But I don't mind. Don't mind. I am so, <laughs> I'm so happy to be here. Are you kidding me? I'm Heck glad yeah. to be out there and glad to be hosting tonight and just having a great time. That's good. Well, we're glad to have you here with us. Thanks, Brooke. Thank you. Gentleman Jack, rare Tennessee whiskey. Here we are with Ashley Caldwell at Rain, the official Charleston Fashion Week after party. Ashley, how many days of Fashion Week did you get a chance to go to? 
This is my second night. Okay, and what was your favorite part of Fashion Week? Hmm, that's a tough one. I'd have to say probably the, the Gwyns of Mount Pleasant show was pretty amazing last night. Really, what was your favorite part about that? I love all of their bright colors, and I mean, I would wear every single thing that they put on the runway. Really? Yeah, absolutely. And, well, let me ask you this, what are you looking forward to tonight? Ooh, there's, it's gonna be a great party tonight. I'm looking forward to letting loose. Hi, my name's Victoria. Hi, my name's Lauren. And you guys are teachers, right? Yes, yeah, correct. And is this your first fashion week? It is. Oh, that's great. And uh, how did you guys get tickets here to Rain? We won them on 95SX. Were you excited? Yes. Are you excited, excited about tonight? Of course. Yes. It is going to be crazy. It's going to be wild. If you're not here, you're missing it. Tell We're everybody. Ready to party. Ready to party. All right, well, it's nice meeting you guys. Thank you. Thanks. High five. Bye. Gonna have to do that a little better. Watch the elbow next time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the best day. Come on. Bye. There you yeah. go. There you go. Lavish Productions, graphic design and photography. Um, now you guys are looking forward to coming to the party tonight, the after party, yeah. rain. What are you guys looking forward to the most? Music, fashion, all of it. The fashion. Yeah. The fashion? Yes, to see what everyone's bringing tonight. Yes, absolutely. You guys looking forward to the runway show that's going to happen tonight? Yeah. That's awesome. Well, hey, it's good to have you guys here. So all right, y'all have a great Enjoy night. Tell everybody about your outfit and kind of how that came together. Um, I actually rented my dress from New York. Um, I called a stylist and asked them exactly what would fit for me because they kind of had an idea of my style. Mm -hmm. And I got this dress. I got to pick it out from a couple of different selections and I got the dress. And then everything else I just kind of got to match. You went to Fashion Week for three, three nights? Yes sir, absolutely, and three nights. What was your favorite night? My favorite night was last night because after the uh, after the fashion show with the music farm, it was beautiful. Really? Absolutely. And so you're looking forward to tonight? I'm looking forward to seeing models all night. Yes. <laughs> it's going to be a good time tonight. Well, we welcome you here to Rain. Seriously. It's a pleasure to have you from Absolutely. D.C. And I uh, hope you have a good time tonight. All access pass. This is what you want to get. Thank you, Camille. If you're going to come to Fashion Week, you need to get this when you come to the after party, the all access pass. Okay, this is the best one to get. Yep. So you guys are going to have a really good time tonight. You looking we forward are. to the fashion show tonight as well? We are. Well, that's awesome. From it's Las Olas. From Las Olas. Yes. Well, good. Well, it's good to have you guys yeah. here. Y'all have a yeah. great time tonight. Lawson Roberts, a national oak design event firm. I'm Deja Knight here at the Ultimate Encore Fashion Week Rain here at the Aquarium. Lawson Roberts, the brains behind it all, is joining me now. Lawson, what does it take to put something like this together? It takes so many people, Deja. First of all, let's talk about what are you wearing? I love this. This is a local designer. This is Emily Papuga, Sweet 33. She made this just for me. I'm so lucky to have her as a friend. Well, we have designed Rain just for everyone in Charleston. We brought a little New York City down because, you know, I work up in the city, have a lot of fun doing that. So I brought some sophistication meets Southern hospitality is what I like to say. And what a fun night it's going to be from an amazing fashion show we've got going on. Mm -hmm. Several bars, brilliant food. The best part of it all is the people watching, I feel like. Oh, I think so too, because all the fashions are amazing. Now, what part of actual fashion plays in part when you plan events like this? You know, you take the idea of fashion and you, you take, uh, you, you get inside like a designer's head and think, okay, what would an event like rain entail? So you think of colors that evoke rain. You think that the vibe that evokes rain and then, then you bring some special effects in to create the rain vibe as well. It kind of all circumvents itself into one spectacular production. Oh yeah, now here's something that I've been wondering, I'm sure a lot of people have been wondering, but why Rain? Why did you pick the name Rain? You know, I've got to hand it to Camille Key, as a matter of fact. That was her idea, and, and I love it. You know, it's not something that you immediately think of for for an evening. And, and ironically enough, I called her this morning. I was like, honey, you know, you said you're calling it Rain, and it's raining outside. How did you do that? Perfect. I love it. If you need an event planned, LawsonRoberts.com. This guy's got it. Thank you so much, Lawson. Perfect. Well, we're here on the red carpet with Dana and Chandler from Copper Penny, a super fabulous boutique here on King Street in Charleston. Now, tell me, your outfit's from Copper Penny, so tell me about all the amazing clothes that you guys have and what you put on the runway this week. We had a lot of new stuff coming for spring. Um, this is French Connection. We had a lot of French Connection, Trina Turk, Jay Godfrey, Tibby, like a lot of fun stuff. All the stuff we did for Fashion Week was preview for the 
like late spring and uh, summer collection. So we're really excited about it. All the bright colors, we're thrilled. And everything looked fabulous on the runway. And that's one of the main things that people care about is ready to wear stuff. So what did you think about the rest of the designers that were here at Fashion Week? They were great. I mean, I have to say I loved our show the best, obviously. <laughs> of course. I just loved all the bright colors. Everything's really, really bright. Lots of corals. Love that. Love your dress, Sweet 33. Thank you. you yes, y'all do carry. It's a local designer that Copper Penny carries, which is amazing. Now, that's what is really um, impressionable about y'all's stores. You carry local designers. Now, why is that important to you guys? I mean, it's just, we're a local store, so it's important for us to have people that shop local and buy local. So it's important for us to, you know, support the people that make local things and have them in our store. So, you know, everyone's helping each other out. Great. Well, Dana and Channel, y'all look amazing. Thank, Thank you so you much, sir. and have fun at Rain, okay? Thanks. Well, we're here at the biggest party in Charleston, Rain the Finale Party. Shannon Bonville, I know you're excited. Now, you went I to am. Fashion Week. Tell me, what was most impressionable to you about the, all the shows this week? Well, I went to the bridal show today, and I'm a bride, so I'm getting married in 55 days. And the bridal show was unbelievable. Bella Bridesmaid was amazing. Um, Modern Trousseau was amazing. Tonight was fantastic. I've had a great time all week. Great, and you're a model yourself, so what is it like to see these models walk down the runway? You know they're in a competition, so what is it like seeing them knowing that you've been there? I'm happy it's not me, because I've, I've walked in Fashion Week before and it's terrifying, <laughs> and so I, I'd much rather be uh, sitting down watching, so I'm just happy they're doing it, not me. <laughs> well, you definitely look like a model tonight. Tell us who you're wearing and how you picked this outfit out. I am wearing Herb Leger. I love him. I love this dress. I love coral, so I feel fantastic. Well, you look amazing. You look very Charleston, very spring, and it's amazing to meet you, and thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. Charleston After Dark, website development, creative marketing, and PR. This is Fashion Week, not I just woke up and I came to the party real late week. What are you doing right now? I don't understand. I mean, did you comb your hair today? Or what are we, I don't understand. How you doing, man? Man, uh, see, these, these boots, man, on the car, you know what I'm saying? That kind of threw my whole outfit game off. I had to shovel. Are, are you wearing, are, are those uh, uh, like BK Knights? What are you wearing right now? Yeah, it's the BK Knights, and uh, actually they're Everlast. Oh. Everlast. Oh, you, oh, you went to the, the pay and save. Yeah, they pay less. Um. Oh, pay, oh, whatever. I don't, we don't have, but pay and save in Canada. Payless. Oh, payless. <laughs> I just took them. So uh, what inspired your hair? Uh, fork and electrical socket or? Fork electrical socket, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. I like that. Lisa Simpson. Ooh. And uh, something like that. And just being black and not really caring in general? Pretty much not giving a goddamn. Yeah. It makes sense. I mean, you know, who needs a job? <laughs> I, like, uh, I like this little houndstooth uh, foam piece that looks like the bottom mat of like a Lego set. Um, it's very unique. Where'd you get that from? Light bright without the lights, man. Um, really? Yeah, man. This cool fly chick made it for me. That actually is pretty cool. I'll give you that one. That's pretty cool. I do some pretty cool stuff. Good. So, um, I see they gave you a VIP badge. They gave me a few of them, man. I don't know why. You do understand there's no Hennessy or Cavassier upstairs. <laughs> like, I'm just letting you know that's not going to happen tonight. And there are a limited number of you we're letting in, so there will be no fights. Is there a purple drink, though? Well, I mean, yeah. All right, cool. I'm All right, get in there, brother. Nice to see you. Elysium, world-class hair and makeup services. Abigail Marie. I'm John Barnhart. I'm Joey Gerard. Okay, Joe, John, Abby, have you guys had a chance to go to Fashion Week yet? Definitely, yes. Now you've been to Fashion Week. I've been to Fashion Week, but I just got back in town, so I. Well, tell know. us, where'd you go, John? I, I just got back from Morocco, so. Morocco, I, yeah. next life. Morocco. Huh? Not bad, this guy. Yeah, I know. Stressed out, man. I'm stressed How about, out. Look at, look at a shot of his shoes. Look at this guy. You know what? Look at his foot gear. Yeah. Impressive. That's, <laughs> that's, that's his foot gear. Hold, 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 hold him up. Hold him up. Hold him yeah. up. That's tight. Y'all get tight. Let's get tight in there. Yeah, you gotta get a tight of this. That's nice. These things are tight. That's a good look. Yeah. How you doing, man? How you doing? I got, you know, it's my fashion. Designer, he, you know, he took care of me, he took me out today. He got me, he just dressed me up. He yeah. just went crazy. And I, I appreciate it. <laughs> I think, uh, look, I think having a good footwear, a good foot choice, is, is, is important for fashion, and you got to be able exactly. to exactly, exactly. Off, so.
All right, y'all, we are back here at Rain Charleston Fashion Week finale. It's Joe Gerard here with my boys, my fellas with Shop Talk. What up, y'all? What up, dudes? What's going, Joe? What's going on, man? Yo, what up? What up? Yeah, we're here for obviously the big finale of Fashion Week. Y'all, y'all know TV. Y'all know a good look. Tell us like some of the, the the good looks, the good fashion when you see you know when you see a nice lady dressed up as far as how she looks, uh, how her little walk does her thing. What do you guys look for when people do their little their I, little walk? I look for the sparkly thing like Shorty got right there. You I see know that. what I mean? I see yeah, that. Yeah, she look like looking in the outer space and all of that. You know what I mean? So I'm big with the astronaut. Yeah, <laughs> the heels straight up, the high heels. And the long, elongated leg look, yeah. as long as they got heels on, I'm good. I look right at that body. I look right at that body, man. He goes right for it. Keep it real. I look right at that body. Right now, at. How about like hair? Y'all like look at the hair, how if it's done up, if it's long? I like the long hair, you know what I mean? And uh, a little curly, I like the curls in them, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Okay. Keep so it real. So, so kind of mix it up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And he's a redhead man. Uh, right here? Yeah. This I never would have guessed that. I never would have guessed that. Yeah, he's a redhead man. Or well, Didi. In fifth grade, Didi yeah. was my first girl. That was your girl right there. Shout out to Didi. What up? Shout out to Didi if she's watching. <laughs> yo, yo, check out our show, Shot Talk on C2. Give some love, you know what I mean? Check out these Shameless guys. Shameless promotion. Yeah, that's how we do it. All right, man. We're at Rain right now. Yo, Charleston Rain Fashion Party, Week. Get up. I wish you have been here. Y'all miss him. Y'all miss him. We'll be right back. This is a large group that came to party here at Rain tonight. Okay, on the count of three, one, two, three. We love Yeah, good to have you guys. Y'all have a good night. Good seeing you guys. All right. Mind Media Group, where social and media meet. Hi, I'm Kevin. Jason Stevens. Now, you guys have had a chance to go to Fashion Weeks before, right? Absolutely. What was your favorite part of Fashion Weeks in the past? Well, I've been coming here since 1975. I'm a big fan of Fashion Week, and the ladies are my favorite part. Now, what about the ladies is your favorite part? Particularly the wardrobes. They were quite amazing this year. Okay, what about you? The wardrobes, that's awesome. The wardrobes. I love it. This guy's really funny. Um, actually, I did a fashion, I was a photographer, and I did the uh, Fashion Week in infrared one year. Really? Which fashion should not be shot in infrared. No, so that's should. note to photographers out there, bad idea. We are fortunate enough to have Dan Bolin here with us. Now, Dan, you had, you've had an opportunity to walk in Fashion Week, not just this year, but how many times? Oh, this is my fourth year, and uh, every year it keeps getting better and better. I'm, uh, I'm really, it's an honor for me to walk with these guys and to, uh, and to now like, kind of pass the torch on to some of the younger guys and, yeah. and teach them and help them along. Okay, so you follow Cavortress, you follow everybody on Twitter, and if you don't have a Twitter, I recommend getting one so that you can follow all these people. You can follow Ioka Lucas, and uh, you can follow any celebrity, any celebrity. Now you like, which designer did you say that you liked? Cavortress and Mamie Ruth. Now why do you like Mamie Ruth? Mamie Ruth uses African designs to do all of her shorts and her dresses and her shirts, and they're awesome. That is great. Well, it's good to have you guys here tonight. You guys are going to have a good time. Great to meet you. Great to meet you guys, too. All right, y'all have a good night. You too. Grey Goose, the world's best tasting vodka. Hey, everybody, we're here with Charlton. Where are you from, buddy? I'm from Charleston. You're from the city? Nice. So uh, what are you wearing? I like this little Andre 3000 type real stylish get up. I like it. Well, actually, it's, uh, I think, Alan Flusser. Calvin, Calvin Klein and some Crocs. I, I know, wait, I know, it's cro I know it's crocodile. Yeah, the crocodile. It was a written. was a real crocodile. You didn't get it from like some backwood no. thing in the back. Okay. So, so they're, they're real crocodile. All right, brother. You look good, man. Bow ties too. That's crazy. This is a wooden bow tie. Look, it's, that's crazy. I've never seen that before. You know, I like your sense of style, man. This week in general, have you been around for Fashion Week, like doing things? I just got in from Paris, so. Well then, uh, hello, you transcend everything. Hi. Okay, well, so, okay, well, in general, <laughs> did you buy the, this this yeah. Parisian? It's not. Why would you just not lie? It is. It's from yeah, like, oh, okay, so it's local. Yeah. It's Paris, you know, they kind of. Everything that happens there happens here. I like it. So, what about you, Merrick? I'm 
glad to be here. Looking forward to having fun. You know, fashion week, it just gets better. And the after parties, of course. Oh, yeah. This is when it gets fun. All right, you two, get in there, have some fun, get a drink, you know, do whatever. Don't fall down the escalator. It's an escalator. All right. <laughs> Good night, guys. Thank you.